guys, it's me Erica and so today I'm going to be showing you guys how I did my makeup for Mew Lettuce a cosplay I'm going to be doing in the distant future and you might be wondering Mew Lettuce doesn't really wear any makeup and a lot of anime characters don't but in order to enhance my cosplay photos that I'll probably be taking in the future I kind of need it and I decided to do this video just in case you wanted to cosplay her and needed some makeup ideas or just needed makeup ideas in general for an anime character you are going to be doing in the future and as a side note in case I forget to vocally say what makeup products I'll be using the makeup product name and like shade will be on the corner of the video and if I am not lazy also in the description below so you don't have to guess what product I am using on my face and with that being said let us so for the first step in this process as always remember to wash and moisturize your face before you putting any makeup and though I didn't show it in this particular video I also put glue on my eyebrows to help maintain them when I color them with eyeshadow later and for this particular video, I couldn't find my glue stick, which I usually use, so I ended up using eyelash glue, and it works too. It's a lot stronger, but I don't recommend it too much because it is very strong, and I had a hard time getting it out of my brow after I took off the makeup. So the next step I have is actually putting on your primer one for your foundation and one for your eyeshadow and these just keep everything together and help your makeup stay longer in the future and I highly recommend the eyeshadow priming especially for cosplay makeup just so it helps pop and I didn't used to use eyeshadow primer I just used the like foundation primer and put it there but it does make a super huge difference if you use eyeshadow primer because the colors like pop out even more and it's a specific formula you would use for it eyeshadow so don't cheap out and just bring foundation primer and I also put the eyeshadow primer onto my glued eyebrows so the color would stick and stay when I put eyeshadow on them to color them later then taking my concealer I put it under my eyes and all my red spots I just do the trick of using the triangle concealer under my eyes and then I blended it in first before I put foundation on with the sponging technique which is basically taking like a makeup sponge and then dampening it and then like blotting it on your and I feel like it kind of helps a little more in spreading the foundation and not making your face too cakey in opposed to like just wiping it on with your face or a brush but and then I later on put concealer under and around my brows because I didn't wax or thread them in a salon yet and I wanted to make them very crisp. So in case you have that problem and you just didn't have time to go into a salon to do it, I recommend doing this to conceal some of the little hairs that are going to be seen. Then taking my foundation, I just put a drop of it on my arm and then dampen my makeup sponge again and then blot it onto my face and try not to put a lot on the first go because then it makes it sometimes the foundation becomes way lighter than your face if you cake it on too much so try your best to do it little by little and then with the damp sponge it helps spread it out a little better and also don't forget to put foundation on your neck so it can blend through then after your foundation is on go ahead and set it with some setting powder or some blotting powder to hold it all into place so now moving on to the eyeshadow i'll be taking this like white shimmery color from this mary Kay eyeshadow palette and putting it on all my eyelid and a little bit on the under of my eyebrow then after i put on that eyeshadow i actually take a light green eyeshadow which I'm using Colourpop Snapdragon and I think they don't make this specific shade anymore but any light color green will do and I just put that on my eyeshadow brush and then dab it a little onto my eye and I start from the corner and dab it slightly and then 
move my way down to the lower portion of my, my eye so it doesn't become a whole green thing and since the eyeshadow color that I was using on my eyes was going to be the color I'll be using for my eyebrows later, I just decided to do it all at once and use the eyeshadow to color my brows and try to make it into slow swiping motion to try to get to the natural shape of your brows. Now taking a darker green shimmery eyeshadow, which is in my case ColourPop's Flower Shop. I did the same kind of motion with the other eyeshadow and kind of dabbed it across to my outer eye first and then working its way a little bit to the upper eye lid thing <laughs> uh, just to give it a little more dimension and then after that was done I kind of blended it in with a big fluffy brush and to make it so that it the color doesn't run through the whole eye start from the inner eye and then work it out to the outer eye then I took a white jumbo eye pencil from NYX and then highlighted the inner corner of my eye and then the outside corner of my eye just to give me a more youth like appearance and since lettuce is a younger character I decided to do that and with younger characters I usually do that also just so it can give a cuter look but of course if you're making a kind of mature or sexy character I wouldn't recommend doing it and then I took my liquid eyeliner and drew a wing and I know it takes a lot of practice this to get to what I am right now it took so long to actually get the perfect eyeliner without it being uneven but a trick I learned is actually to do the wing first then to then do the actual like line so that if the line is messy you can't really do anything about it but if you start with the wing first you can decide how thick or thin you want your wing and then with the liquid eyeliner I also brought it down a little bit to the outer corner end of my eye just to make my eyes appear larger because I have smaller monolid eyes and then taking my eyelash curler I curled my lashes before I actually put on the mascara I put the mascara both on my upper lashes and my lower lashes so then I'm going to be putting on fake eyelashes you don't of course you don't have to put fake eyelashes with it I just feel like the fake eyelashes and like enhances the eye look just because eyes are a really big part of anime and I wanted to make my eyes look bigger which it does with fake eyelashes so I just took these fake eyelashes from Taiso and wore them and then after I glue them on just wait a few more seconds or probably like 30 seconds before you take your eyelash curlers to merge your real and or blend should I say your real and your fake eyelashes together and then taking a kind of rosy blush I put on my cheeks to add some color on there and since lettuce doesn't really have an intense lip color I just decided to use my tinted lip balm from like baby lips which actually did the job really well and if I find in the later run that I need lipstick then I'll probably put that on but just a little bit not too like bright or dark and then to finish everything off try to use a setting spray I'm using a setting spray from mix which actually does this job really well and then after that you are done just go ahead put on your wig and your costume I don't have the costume yet so I just put on the wig and here's me trying to awkwardly model it with my castanets but it's very cringy <laughs> I'm so sorry but yeah, hopefully this video helped you learn how to do a little bit of cosplay makeup or even lettuces makeup. And if you try, send me a picture. If you don't, it's okay too. <laughs> At least I gave you some tips. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye! Bye.